Yo, you know y'all missed the clap. Back with another food video. Gooky food. Which country got? <laughs> which country makes the greatest breakfast? Mmm. Country. Comment below. Who y'all think make the best breakfast? But um. I already know the quality check. Oh, we got 4K today. Let's get into it. They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Many countries have different variations on this meal. Today, I'm exploring American style breakfast and mm. Mexican style. But not Ooh. only that, I will also be making my style, which I cannot Your wait style. to see which one is going to come out on top. So let's begin. We're going to start off with the classic American style of breakfast. There are several different ways, but I think most people would agree that this is very popular, especially yeah. when you combine all of these ingredients together. It is delicious. Yeah, First off, we're going to start with the bacon. The best way I know how is to cook them in the oven. And to do so, it's quite simple. Get yourself a good quality bacon. Keep mm -hmm. in mind of one thing. It already has a good amount of fat. So choosing ones that have the most amount of meat is the key. Then yeah. I like to place them down on a cooling rack and into the oven they go at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. It will take anywhere between 20 minutes to 30. It all depends on how crispy you want them to be. In the end, you are left with bacon. It does not get any easier than that. I miss Next bacon. Hash browns. And mine are quite different than the ones uh, I've seen. I love some hash browns. I like mine super crispy. Now I've learned this technique from the restaurants in Miami. And here's how to do it. These are the types of potatoes I like. They're called russet potatoes. They're nice and big, and it's just perfect for it. First thing to do is to go ahead and peel them. Once that's done, I like to grate them by hand. It will give me exact control to make sure all of them are perfect. As yeah, you can see, yeah, once yeah. I was done, I was left with a good pile. Next up is to immediately throw them in water. Now this step is quite crucial, and that is to remove all of the moisture as much as possible. Mm -hmm. You see, I'm going for an extra crispy texture. In the end, take a look. Almost bone dry. Like this, it will crispen up beautifully. Talking about that, next thing to do is to go ahead and cook them. So I went ahead and throw some oil on the pan, added a good amount of the potatoes in there, squeeze them down nice and flat, and let them cook under medium heat. Once the egg okay? starts turning golden brown, that's when you know it's time to flip and immediately go to low heat you see the key is to cook them nice and slow and dehydrate them as much as possible it will make them extremely crunchy that is what i was going for i mean take a look at these crispy edges mm. it's going to be mash brown and we can't have american breakfast <laughs> without pancakes first up the batter all-purpose flour followed by sugar one egg baking soda and baking powder mix and milk mix everything well until it's fully combined in the end you should be left with this consistency next up okay. is to cook them nice and slow especially if you want them perfectly fluffy once you see bubbles rising to the top you know it's time to flip just make sure to make enough because these things are delicious especially when you add butter and drizzle them with maple syrup if you don't think that that's delicious you should seek some help to finish it up scramble eggs these are absolutely delicious and most importantly super simple to make first up is to whisk them really good then mm. i season them immediately now if you want to get them super creamy and tasty you gotta cook them on some butter once the butter is fully melted i immediately threw in my egg mixture the key okay. to have nice fluffy eggs is to cook them slowly keep mixing them as much as necessary and make sure not to overcook it because in the end i was left with this delicious scrambled eggs Ooh. as now we assemble First the pancakes, oh. followed by that wonderful fluffy eggs, oh. extremely crispy and crunchy harsh browns, and let's mm. not forget about the bacon. To keep it healthy, we go ahead and add some green chives. <laughs> this is my version of American style breakfast. That looks good. Absolutely delicious, easy to make, and just what I like to call a 10 out of 10 will highly recommend. The question is, yeah. can it beat a Mexican style? Well, we're about to find out right now. A because Mexican style. Because rancheros. And it will give the American style breakfast a run for its money. At the same time, it is easy to make. And here's my take on it. First up, we got a chart. Every Aetna no! plan comes with the Aetna network of doctors, specialists, and hospitals. Boy, dog. To mental health and more. You get the quality care next you month, next month. community all at an Don't worry, price. next month, next month, don't worry. CVSHealth.com. I'm the strongest Santa's in double the, family, the whole family. Boy, you want to see strong? Oh. Yeah, strong. Mm. 
Come on, 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 come on. The veggies. As you can see, I'm only using tomatoes and jalapenos. Into a pan, I threw in some oil and immediately threw in the veggies. You want to get a nice char on them. There are several different methods to do so, but in the morning, you want to go nice and easy. Getting Ooh. this done in a pan is the easiest way to do it. And in the end, you are left with good results. Next up, Ooh. refried beans. Might sound complicated, but trust me, it's not. First up is to choose the beans. At least to me, pinto beans are my favorite. They are okay. delicious, widely available, and you don't have to cook them from scratch. So into a pan, I threw in some bacon fat. Then I immediately threw in my beans. Using a smasher, I went to town. We want to crush them up as much as possible. Okay, okay. The next thing to do is to add some chipotle peppers. Just make sure mm. you chop it up real fine. Because once that was added, I went ahead and added some salt, followed by black pepper, and mixed everything well. Taste it for seasoning though. Adjust as needed because that is how easy it is to make the beans. Next up is chorizo. Oh, this one brings in a lot of flavor. You can literally find on your supermarket. Just look for one that has a nice pronounced color like this. So into a pan, I threw in all of my chorizo. You want to cook okay, them under okay. medium high heat. As soon as they start changing color on you, throw in some onions, followed by some jalapenos. Mix everything well and combine these ingredients. Because the next thing we gotta add is some extra flavor. And this paste is super simple to make. Into a pesto and mortar, I threw in some garlic, crushed it really good, followed by the tomatoes we made in the beginning. I don't know if it's just me, but by crushing them in the pesto and mortar, it makes them better. It releases some of the oils that you can't get in a food processor. To finish it up, I season them with salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and that's mm. it. Adding this to my chorizo is gonna be fantastic. Talking about that, the only thing left to do is to mix everything well and they are now done. I'm telling you folks, even though this is super simple and easy to make, the one thing it does not lack is flavor. Next up is to fry up some eggs. Into my egg pan, I threw in some avocado oil. Break them in there and cook them under medium heat. The key for me at least to have perfect eggs is not to overcook them. I like that runny yolk. The final step of cooking right. is to cook up some tortilla. Whether you like flour or corn, it does not matter. Because now, the only thing left to do is to assemble. First, I spread a good amount of my beans on the tortilla, followed by mm -hmm. my perfectly cooked sunny side up egg, then a okay. generous amount of chorizo right on top, those charred up jalapenos we made in the beginning, a good amount I'll get of those scrambled. cheese, and to finish still, it off shit. some cilantro. Now that this still is my look take good on as huevos fuck, rancheros. And I'll tell you one thing, if you've never had this, you don't know what you're missing. And as you saw it there, it is easy to make, and quite never frankly, had. a lot faster I than wanna the try though. version. Now the question is, which one is better? Well, we're about to find out real shortly. Because to make this breakfast even more memorable, I went ahead and did my version. These are simple steak, eggs, and potatoes. But the okay, way okay. I made them is quite interesting. First, I chose a steak. For that, I went with New York strip. I seasoned it with salt, pepper, and mm. garlic powder. Then I let it sit so my salt can penetrate deeply in there. As now, I wanted to tack my potatoes. For this one, I chose Yukon Gold. The key here is to cut them the same size so that they cook evenly. Nice little cubes like this was the way to go. Okay. And then into a tray they went, I sprayed them with some Wagyu fat, followed by salt, freshly ground black pepper, and Gugas rub. Mixed everything well and threw them in the oven. I baked okay. them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit until they were nicely golden brown. Now everything goes into a bowl. I went ahead and chopped up some bacon that was left from the American version, threw them okay. in there, and now we got bacon and potatoes. Next up was to make the eggs. And I wanted to do something different. As you can see, this one is super thin. So after whisking up my eggs on a bowl, I went ahead and cooked them under low heat on a wok, getting the edges cooked little by little. This takes time and patience, but it will pay off on a presentation in the end. As you can see, once I was done, they are now paper thin. And the only thing left to do was to go ahead and cook my steak. Outside, I went and started to sear. Here's the key whenever I'm cooking any type of steak. I like to use a cold grade technique. And what that means is to make sure that I get no grill marks. This will give me a nice golden brown color, which is what I was looking for. Right when I'm hey, towards okay. the end, I just flip them in place many, many times. And I'm doing so to perfume the steak with a charcoal flavor. Trust me when I tell you this. It will give an incredible amount of charcoal flavor on your steak if you do this towards the end. Because once I was done, take a look. Perfectly grilled steak. It does, it does slice, look nice. Oh yes. Exactly what I was looking for. To finish it up is the assembly. So first I got my egg, followed by my beautiful steak. We can't forget about that hash brown right on top. Okay. Then I closed everything up. And if I was serving this to a guest, I would just make an X pattern like this and let them open by themselves. Ooh. Because Ooh. come on now. This is what I like to call the breakfast Ooh. of champions. And it will please everyone. The question is, how will it stack up against American-style breakfast and Mexican-style breakfast? Well, we're about to find out right now. Because now I go. say, it is enough talking and it is time to eat. So let's do it. All 
right, everybody. Here we got our beautiful breakfast. Feeling healthy. Your bomba. And bounds. Making a dinner that makes their whole day. And giving your best friend the best nutrients in their on. best life. Science did that. Stop paying for groceries. There's a new $1,400 subsidy available for Americans who make less than 50 us today gentlemen <sighs> wow this guy's still sleeping everybody it's too early for this man <laughs> it's too early and this... you're already sweating definitely we have a three things going on over here i want your honest opinion just tell me like it is american breakfast you guys can tell mexican. like mexican <laughs> damn right and i don't know steak <laughs> google special uh, google <laughs> So let's try this out, okay? Okay. So, what is your favorite part of an American breakfast, Angel? Pancakes. Pancakes. I guess oh, you so. like a sweet. Okay, I see. I, I gave you a little bit of everything. So I want you guys to notice one thing here, real quick. Pay attention to my harsh browns. Check them out because I like my nice and thin, almost like potato crisps. Everybody, I know that it's not very traditional, but I have been to several restaurants and they serve it this way, and I just love it. Check out the crunchiness. Come on now. McDonald's ain't got nothing on that. No, come on now. McDonald's wish they could make it like that, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Try it. Huh? Is that crispy or what? Is that like That's crispy? nice. It's like crispy, crunchy hash yeah. browns, everybody. Mm -hmm. That's like has what a hot sauce no. should taste like, I feel like, right? I think I like this one more, actually, because the ones at McDonald's, sometimes they taste like greasy. Yes. But because yes. this is so thin, it's just crispy and delicious. Nice, crispy. Also, it's less calories because it's not that thick and not so much potatoes, you know what I mean? We on a diet. <laughs> my favorite part of a breakfast is always the pancakes. I'm Canadian, so I love to drench my pancakes in maple syrup. Mine is definitely 100% the protein. I'm talking about bacon and eggs, everybody. Breakfast heaven. It just hits different, everybody. Oh, those eggs though. Mm, so good. So good. Don't finish, I, especially you, because you have limited amount of space in your belly. I no, know. Not today. Yes. I just woke up. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try the Mexican version, okay? So this is my- That's what I want to try there right was there. Potatoes. Shout out to my good brother, Oscar. This is 100% his recipe from La Capital. I'll tell you one thing, everybody. If you've never experienced this, you owe yourself to give this a go. So this is like a taco, all right? You eat it like a taco if you want, or you can eat it the American version. Dude, look at that oh. gooey egg, bro. You can cut it. We're about to get real messy up in here, oh, everybody. Oh, no, I have regret saying that to Leo. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm about to mess this table up. Yeah, real, real heart. nice. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Wow. 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 They got some wow. beans in there too. Yes, sir. Dude, that is yummy. It covers every single flavor base that you could have. It's savory, rich, a little bit sweet, a little Damn, bit dude, spicy. I gotta go eat me some after this. Is fantastic. Um. Love, love, love this. Finger licking good. It's finger really, licking when good. You mix everything together. It's just a harmony of flavors in your mouth. Incredible. Lastly, we got the Guga special. Oof. The Guga special. One is as Guga as it gets, everybody. Potatoes, eggs, steak, everybody. That's it right there. That's what we like to call the usual. The usual. <laughs> Yes. Guga, I gotta say, this is the nicest presentation I've ever seen the Guga special in. I agree. Enough talking, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh, that's the not effects even fair. is crazy. That's amazing, everybody. Yeah. Is it just me or do you guys feel a little bit weird eating a steak this early? I know. It's the way to wake up, everybody. Have steak in the morning. Let's go. This tastes like a badass breakfast right here. I love the steak, bold, beefy flavor right in your face, surrounded by that nice, soft egg. Plus, you have and that, that steak nice, probably delicious was potato. Cost it a and lot, the best too. Part, a little bit of bite from that bacon. It combines to an overall super delicious and flavorful bite. Yeesh. This early in the morning, I love it. Listen, mm -hmm. high protein breakfast is the way to go sometimes you know what i'm saying which one you like better damn i'm gonna have to go with the mexican style mexican. Man. that was too delicious the runny egg with the chorizo and all that there's nothing wrong with that one everybody it's a there's nothing wrong with this one either or this one you uh, that's a hard question my winner is gonna be the google breakfast hell yeah leo i'm also with you steak is always a better everybody <laughs> it does not matter what you pick steak is good everybody but my second winner will probably be this one. Oh, that doesn't count. You can't have a second winner. <laughs> My second winner would have been the pancake, there you man. Go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber. <clears throat> well, y'all heard him. If y'all enjoyed the, the Google um, video, I, I want to try the Mexican. But um, it's going to be a video in the middle of their screen. Uh, middle of this screen. Click it, watch it, and then watch the other video. At the end of that one, we just keep it going. Self love is the best love. And I'm out.